I used to be in that bandwagon earlier in my life. It was about all STEM and engineering and getting people into that world. And then when I got to, you know, thinking more seriously and looking closer at things and examining that world, it's no different than the, the rest of the world. There's all kind of isms in, in STEM. There's all kind of ways that STEM provides opportunity, but also puts its foot on the neck of black and brown people. And I've moved away from that. So it's not just about a job or a career in STEM. It's about using math helping people use math to empower their lives so they can make decisions that are best for them, right? Whether it's a parent or a community or a child, um, using math in a way that helps them satisfy their goals, not somebody else's goals for them. And math is just one tool. You know, it's an important tool because we live in a world where, you know, math is relevant and all that, but it shouldn't be that we sign kids up for math to kind of fit into the system. It should be we want kids to learn math to understand how that system works, right? And what it's doing to them and what is, you know, the good and the bad. And that's kind of how I want to, you know, live the rest of my life and do this work is to really be critical, but also, quote unquote, take advantage of math in the, in the ways that have to do, and I'll use these words, with liberation, right, for people who uh, feel oppressed, uh, to undo some of those isms, you know, racism, you know, white supremacy. We're in a time now when, you know, people of color, it's, it's, it's a little dicey, you know, it's a little dicey. So whatever tools we need to kind of uh, keep the world off our necks, I think we need to find those tools. And, you know, people who are interested in math and share this, you know, this kind of vision that I just talked about, I mean, I think we're doing it in a way where, um, you know, we think it'd be, it can be beneficial. You know, working with folks, not for folks or against folks. And I think that's important. So that's kind of where I am now. And, you know, I was at a different place later and then, you know, maybe 15 years from now, hopefully <laughs> still alive and doing this work, you know, it'll be in that direction of liberation and really trying to help people um, empower themselves with what they want to do in life.